Hello all, welcome to the Daily Current Affairs by Neo IAS and today on 8th May 2019, our topics are Petroleum Conservation Research Association that is PCRA, EVM and VV patch, then Brasilia Declaration, Current Affairs Capsule, Map Aided Program and PQR. Okay. And our first topic that is Petroleum Conservation Research Association that is PCRA. So the news is that TAFE, TAFE stands for Tractors and Farm Equipment Limited and this TAFE it has signed a pact with this PCRA. Okay and uh, the purpose is that to aid the efficient utilization of various energy resources in agriculture. Okay, so this TAC signed a pact with this PCRA. Clear? So this PCRA, it is a national government agency and its main purpose is to promote the energy efficiency in various sectors of the economy. And it is registered under the, it is a, actually it is a registered society under the aegis of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Okay, and it is established as a non-profit organization in 1978. So, its main purpose is that actually it helps the government in proposing or in implementing various strategies in which the aim is to reduce the oil consumption or the dependency on the oil. So, this PCRA, it helps in the government to implement various strategies in which the aim is to reduce the India's dependency on oil. So, the thing is that uh, uh, when our dependency on the soil it decreases, we can save a huge amount of money and also we can reduce the environmental impact caused due to this uh, oil and uh, another thing is that we can conserve this fossil fuel for our, for our coming generation. Okay, we can conserve this fossil fuel or this uh, petroleum products for our coming generation. So, we can say that the holistic aim of this PCRA it, uh, it is to or it aim at making oil conservation a national movement. Okay. And it also create awareness among people about the benefit uh, for conserving this petroleum products and also reducing its emission. So, the thing is that if you reduce uh, this petroleum products co um, consumption, there is a huge impact on environment and also we can conserve this products for our coming generation. So, this PCRA it is also giving or creating an awareness among the people. Then coming to our second topic that is EVM and VVPAT. So, the news is that the Supreme Court, it dismissed a plea of opposition, uh, a, plea, a plea of the opposition parties to review its judgment rejecting 50 percentage of the random physical verification of this EVM and VVPAT. Okay, that is the news. So, first we can see about electronic voting machine or the EVM. We know that earlier we used ballot paper system. So, in electronic voting machine, uh, it uses an electronic means or voting using an electronic means is simply um, that is the EVM or electronic voting machine. And basically, it consists of two units, a controlling unit and also a balloting unit. And it is this controlling unit and balloting unit, it is connected with the cable and this controlling unit uh, it is under the control of the presiding officer or the polling officer. Okay, he is under the control of this controlling unit and this balloting unit it is kept under the separate compartment where the people can go there and they can cast their vote. Okay, and why it has been done this? Uh, the basic reason is that thereby the polling officer he can verify each of the individual or he can verify or we can say that for security aspects it is being done in this way. And uh, so earlier the presiding officer he will issue a ballot paper 
but in this electronic voting machine a ballot button is pressed by the presiding officer okay uh, and in our electronic voting machine there uh, the name of the candidate then the symbol and also there will be corresponding blue button will be seen so uh, the the person who is going to cast their vote he has to press this blue button in order to cast his vote okay that that is the procedure in this electronic voting machine and about this vv patch vv patch stands for voter verified paper audit trial actually it is an independent verification printer machine it's a uh, it looks somewhat like a small printing machine and it is attached to the electronic voting machine and its main purpose is that it actually it allows the voter to verify if he has voted for the intended candidate so he can verify that whether his vote has gone to the intended candidate that is the main purpose of this vv pat and uh, here you can see a vv pat machine and also an evm electronic voting machine and here the name of the candidate and the corresponding symbol will be displayed and here you can see a blue button and we have to press that blue button in order to cast our vote this is the mechanism and next we can see the uh, mechanism behind vv pat so when the voter when he presses the button okay again is the candidate name then what happens is that a paper slip or it is otherwise known as a ballot slip will be generated okay and uh, here uh, you can see the vv pat machine and a ballot slip or paper slip will be generated and this paper slip it consists of the serial number then the candidate's name and also the symbol so uh, we can uh, see this ballot paper or a uh, ballot slip through a glass case in the vv pat machine that too for only 7 seconds so after 7 second what happens is that this ballot slip it will be cut off and it will be dropped into the drop box of the vv pat machine and also a beep sound will also be heard okay so uh, this um, ballot slip it neither goes into the hands of the person who had voted nor anybody else can see that one but in some cases that is in rarest of the rare cases the presiding officer or the polling officer he can uh, take that one but that too only in the rarest of the rare cases okay then our uh, next topic it is brasilia declaration so according to the who report they say that the road accidents are the leading cause of death among people ranging age group between 5 to 29 years that too with an alarming rate that is worldwide with more than 1.35 million lives is losing per year and 50 million are sustaining injuries <coughs> that is uh this is the report by the who so this brasilia declaration it lays down certain recommendation on uh, strengthening the existing legislation so what all are there we have to strengthen that one and adopt some sustainable transport and also after if there is an accident occur there should be a post post crash response or that uh, post crash response and trauma care etc should be strengthened and it was adopted at the second global high level conference on road safety which was held in brazil in 2015 and it is developed through an intergovernmental process uh, that to involve consultation with other stakeholders okay and um, its basic goal of this brasilia declaration on uh, road safety it agreed upon to reduce the reduce uh, at least half of the road accident death by 2020 that is the end of this decade, uh, decade. that is one of its goal then another goal uh, that is it is a key milestone with the new uh, 2030 sustainable development goal target 3.6 that is another goal so some of its objectives uh, mainly uh, it ensure that 
the safety of the road users must be protected. That is its main uh, objective for that uh, they say that the, uh, the laws need to be improved or improving the laws and the enforcement and also making this road safer for infrastructural modification that is uh, there will be some gutters etc. So, such uh, technical aspects should be avoided and hence we have to make this road for uh, road some infrastructural modification and also ensure that the vehicles they are equipped with life saving technology that is some like airbags etc. We should ensure that the vehicle it has got proper life saving techniques then uh, some first aid boxes etc. And also another thing is that uh, we have to ensure that emergency and trauma care system should be given at the proper time if any crash has occurred. Okay. And it also encourages the WHO and the partners to reduce the road traffic crashes and the uh, fatalities and also supports the use of indicators which are linked to the sustainable development goal target which is related to the road safety. So, as a whole we can say that the, the main aim of uh, Brazilian declaration it is to promote the sustainable commuting ways and also they uh, actually they uh, prioritize that is for this this path is for pedestrians then for cycle cyclists then for motorists so such a priority prioritization of the road it is also being given so uh, and another thing is that this declaration it further urges the state to adopt road safety policies that is especially for the vulnerable road users and also for children then youth can see zebra crossing is being provided in the road such um, uh, what such emergency or such uh, things are also being provided okay and in current affair capsule today our topic is uh, ba Balukhan wildlife sanctuary actually this uh, Balukhan Konar wildlife sanctuary is a sanctuary in Odisha and it is located along the Bay of Bengal coast between the towns of Puri and Konar the main thing is that it is uh, recently it is attacked by the cyclone Feni. Okay. So, you have to remember this Beluk and Konar wildlife sanctuary it is located in Odisha. And map it a program today our topic is Sea of Japan. Actually, the news is that the North Korea it launches a barrage of short train short range projectiles into the Sea of Japan. Okay. Here you can see the sea of Je Japan, okay, and uh, this it is a marginal sea that lies between the Japanese archipelago, then Sakhalin, then Korean Peninsula, and Russia. So here you can see the uh, it lies uh, near to Russia, Sakhalin, then the Korean Peninsula, etc. And uh, this Japanese archipelago actually it separates this sea from the Pacific Ocean and in another way we can say that it is bordered by Japan, Korea that too from the north and south and Russia. So, another peculiar feature is that uh, this sea of Japan it has almost no tide. Okay, the main reason is due to it nearly complete enclosure from the Pacific Ocean. So, like the Mediterranean Sea it has almost no tide. And this isolation, it also reflects the fauna species and the water salinity. So, it is uh, less saline as compared with other ocean resources. And in prelims question revision series, I will read out the question. So, in the context of food and nutritional security of India, enhancing the seed replacement rates of various crops helps in achieving the food production targets of the future. But what is or are the constraints or constraints in its wider or greater implementation? And our options are there is no national seed policy in, in place, then there is no participation of private sector seed companies um, in the supply of quality seeds of vegetables and planting materials of horticultural crops, 
Then third one, uh, there is a demand supply gap regarding quality seeds in case of low value and high volume crops. So, we have to select the correct answer using the code given below and options are A, 1 and 2 only, then B, 3 only, C, 2 and 3 only and D, none. So, here we have to identify which are the constraints, okay, for the implementation of this seed, seed replacement rates or seed policy. So, our options are, first one, we can look each option, <coughs> there is no national seed policy in place. Actually, uh, the, there is a national seed policy that has been implemented in 2002. So, the first option it is uh, actually it is not a constraint. Then coming to the second option, there is no participation of private sector. Actually, there, there is a greater participation by the private sector seed companies for the supply of quality seeds, especially the hybrid types of seed. So, uh, option 2 also it is not a constraint. Then coming to option 3, there is a demand supply gap regarding the quality seeds in case of low value and high volume crops. So, in the case of this low value and high volume crop, uh, for example, that is in rice and wheat, uh, what happens is that the farmer, they uses the already preserved seeds for farming. So, we can say that there is a great demand supply gap. So, the third one actually it is a constraint. So, our answer will be option B that is 3 only. Okay. So, our an answer is option B. So, that is all for today's session. You can download the material from the link given below. Thank you for listening.